<laughs> hey guys, have you ever heard of nostalgia? It's this thing where you remember something from the past, and then you experience that thing again, and you realize that the thing you remembered wasn't as good as you thought you were. Let's play as a 3D pinball space cadet. Look at that doopy fucker. I love him. You know, I was looking for a way to download this. I'm shocked they don't have it in, like, the Microsoft's... Oh. Well, that just sucks. I'm shocked they don't have it in, like, the Microsoft Store uh, thing that they have on Windows 10. You figured that that would, like, of all the things they have... They have Ski Free on there. I know that, like, uh, nowadays, MS Paint is no longer a main part of Windows. So, if you want it... But it is available in the store. Oh, what the... What the fuck? If you want it, you still are going to have to, like, uh, re-download it. It is free, so. Which kind of begs the question, what was the point of removing it in the first place? I got this computer before they removed it uh, from Windows. So I still have it, haha. -ha. I'm still able to- What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm still able to make those weird S symbols that they did in school. You know, the fucking six lines and then the fucking diamond looking thing. Where did that even come from? That's my question. That's what I want to know. I want my, I want my most comfort concentration. Yeah! I... Not even that time this game just plays itself. I'm surprised it's running so well. Like, uh... Ah, loud. Okay, that hurt. You know, I kind of want to play some old computer games I used to. Uh, they had Freddy Fisher on Steam. You ever play that's like, uh... It's called like a putt-putt-like game. It's a point-and-click educational title, which I used to play. I never played putt-putt. I played Freddy Fisher, which is obviously the superior game. You know, I only like putt-putt because Peanut Butter Gamer talked about him. Which, I like Peanut Butter Gamer, but... Jesus, people. We gotta remember what the actual superior game is. I love half of these sound effects. The hell is that? Was that basically just like a 90s equivalent to like the air horns? Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can imagine if they remade it nowadays, they would totally do that. I guarantee it. Pass? No, I don't want to. No, no. No, press F2 to start new game. Oh, I hope that doesn't do anything. The bandy cam. If it does, I'll kill you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> If they had a Microsoft Smash Brothers, with the Xbox Smash Brothers, I want this as a stage. This is a great commentary right here. Do you remember, like, this Aladdin PC game? It's kind of similar to... It's not literally like a point-and-click adventure, it's just like a collection of computer stuff. I was never able to find it. It's almost like it doesn't exist. There it goes. There it goes. Ah, ah, Jesus Christ. Ugh. You know, like I said, 90% of this game just plays itself. Like, oh, and that's pinball in general, though. Did, did, like, anybody who, like, I know arcades still sort of exist. There aren't as many. Many of them are shut down. But, for those who have an arcade in your area that hasn't been shut down, yeah, let me ask a question. Do you still have pinball machines there? Because every time you seem like a modern arcade, you never see these things anymore. I kind of wish they did. I know there are, like, arcades nowadays where you can pay, like, $10 for an hour and all the games are sort of free, and I've always wanted to go to a place like that. There was one in Pennsylvania. I could have gone there, but we just never fucking made time to do it. Oh, and that makes me sad. I ho Hopefully there's here one in Texas. I mean, I'm sure there is. Oh, come on! I had no control under that event. I'm not allowed to lose. When I play games, I should win all the time. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, like, how am I able to play this on Windows 10? It's because, uh, there are ways to re-download it. Uh... 
I'll probably try and find where I downloaded this and put it in the description. If I forget, I'm sorry. I've had no problems with it so far. No viruses, no issues, no sound problems. How the hell? Gotta concentrate, gotta concentrate. My ear's itchy. Well, I don't know why that is. Fuck. The hell? Oh. Some of these sound effects are so out of place nowadays. I'm not gonna criticize it too much. For one, this game is like God knows how many years old. It has its issues from age. And secondly, I'm not gonna be like one of those internet critics. It's like, ah, oh, that's it's not what I wanted, so it's bad. So it, it, it's cringy, cause doubt and cringe is obviously a good source of criticism. Yeah. Is it possible to get an infinite loop on this thing? That would be hilarious. Ship refueled? Where the hell am I going? I'm playing pinball. I ain't going nowhere. No, Mom, I don't want to go. Five more minutes. I wonder what the highest record on this game is. There has to be like, oh, a Guinness Book of World Records for 3D Pinball Space Cadet. Ugh. I'm sure there's at least one guy. How many world records go unnoticed? Oh my god. Think about it. It could be someone who broke like a world record, but no one was there to see it. They either have no proof of it, or they didn't want to tell anyone. Uh, like, I guess either they wanted that satisfaction of just doing it themselves. Uh, or, um, they just didn't care about having a world record. They didn't want the media. So, imagine how many world records were actually broken, but no one just knows about it. Oh, that reminds me of something sort of fucked up. You know, uh, whenever we see, like, a murderer who tries to hide the body, and it's like, oh, we caught this guy, he hid the body. But it's like, how many of those cases are undiscovered? Like, someone who was able to successfully hide a body and get away with it clean. Like, I have, I don't think we have really a way to statistically see how many of those are really discovered, because that would imply that we know that there are a certain amount of bodies that are... Or how do I put it? That are hidden out there. That would mean that the bodies were at least discovered to an extent. Ah. They say, did I mention I'm not good with the words? I really like gotta fucking practice talking more. I don't like going uh and like a lot. Even though, you know, if someone's making an argument and they're going like and uh a lot, it shouldn't impact their arguments. Yeah, way to completely ignore the argument presented and focus on the fact I said like and uh a lot. Just saying. Give me my damn ball. Thank you. I'm just gonna hold these up. I remember I used to do that. Oh, I just remember I used to do that as a kid all the time. Just hold these up and just hope for the best. I like to try and catch you and be like, it's mine. <laughs> no one else can ever take it away from me. <laughs> okay, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? <laughs> you can no longer continue. <laughs> Woohoo! I love this shit. Oh my god. Oh god, too much! Too many lights! High score! Oh my god! 1,575,750 points! Oh my god! That's a lot of fives! You know what? Sure, I'll save it. I'll save it. How do you spell it? I probably spelled this incredibly incorrectly. Mine <laughs> or me, I guess. Okay, F2 to start a new game. Uh I probably spoke Guinness completely wrong. I used to fucking 
like borrow Guinness Book of World Record books at my library from intermediate school. It was either that or Captain Underpants I would constantly get. That library was huge. For those who know, the library in Spring Grove Intermediate School was unnecessarily big. Like, I don't know why it was so big. It makes the other libraries look pathetic. And I mean that, too. Uh, they built a new high school, uh, what was it, year 2008, I believe, that they built a high school? Um, they already had a high school, but that high school eventually became the middle school. And the old middle school was, I believe, it was repurposed and whatnot. But anyway... It, it's no longer actually a part of the school district. So the old high school became the middle school, and we have an, an entirely new high school, which makes the entire school pale in comparison because of how big and fancy it is. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, by all means. But it did have a lot more than all of the other schools did because they were made, like, years ago. But the only thing that really sucks is its library is so pathetically small. It's like an elementary school library at that point. The intermediate school library was so much better. Uh. Worst thing about the high school one is that they didn't have Captain Underpants or Guinness Book of World Records. Stupid! Did they have manga? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I remember in intermediate school I read this one... I liked comic books, uh, but I read manga because... It was close to a comic book. There was this one, and I can't remember the name of it. It was essentially this guy's parents get killed or something, and now he's a spy. He was, like, brought in by this agency, and I believe... It was, like, one big story. It wasn't, like, multiple different volumes and whatever. And one of the weapons they gave him is a little Nintendo DS that if you put different cartridges in, it would do different things. And it's like, oh, it has a smoke screen cartridge and this kind of stuff. And, um... Oh, and it just has Mario Kart on it, just because you need to do something for the ride. I remember that was a joke on there. Like, does anyone remember what that's called? Or does anyone even know what that is? The whole... That spy thing where he had a Nintendo DS as a weapon? It wasn't the main point of the story, it was just, I guess, some goofy thing they decided. Like, hey, this will be cool and really rad. <laughs> the kids are gonna love this. Kids, throw your Nintendo DS at your parents, it'll release a cloud of smoke. A cloud of smoke will rage from their heads as they beat the shit out of you. Oh my god, is it? I'm sorry, that joke was going too far. I apologize. That really does just sound like Bit Crush, like... Air horns. It really does. How did I beat that high score? I wasn't playing for that long, was I? No, doesn't count. No, I don't count it. I don't count it. Hell no. Oh, I pressed F1. Uh, did that do anything? Okay, no, good. <laughs> I'm always scared about pressing the F number buttons because I'm always concerned that, like, something's just gonna fucking happen. <laughs> Sniffles. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Settle down! My word! Come on now. Yeah, now, okay. I didn't mean settle down this much. Oh boy. Oh come on! <laughs> you can't do anything now except submit to me. Oh, you're coming back for more. <laughs> Come on in here. Oh, you're so helpless. Oh, I feed off of your fear. Whack. Oh, coming back for more. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> oh, you want more. Oh, goody. Hello, my friend. I'm waving at you. <laughs> this guy just doesn't get it now, does he? <laughs> I'm losing my shit. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Okay, so, um, my mom's, uh, I, I had this stepdad. Um, I don't want to say his name. I have, uh, he was my stepdad for years before, I, I'd say ten years ago is when him and my mom split up. Uh... 
I'll say that much. And then, like, moving here, uh, moving to Pennsylvania, not here, because this is Texas. I have never been to Texas before. Uh, but it, first time in Pennsylvania is what we're moving there. We had to stay at my, uh, that stepdad's friend's place. And he had this fucking awesome ba basement. He had a pack, a Miss Pac Man machine, which all you had to do was push the button, and you would instantly just start playing. And he had this weird fucking dart game. It wasn't like actual darts. I mean, he did have actual dart machines, but what do you call it? It gives me this 1970s game show vibe. Because it has like a really long coiled wire connected to this pen looking thing that's supposed to be your dart. You push the button and you swing it as if you're actually going to throw a dart. And when you release the button, it had, I guess, some kind of like motion control thingy. Even though despite the fact it was really fucking old. And basically, it would go ahead and, depending on how you did it, or I can't remember if it was like how hard or like the direction you're aiming. I doubt it was that advanced. It was really a fucking old thing. But it would go ahead and be like, oh, you got a target. Whoa, lights flashing everywhere. Does anyone know where I can find one of those? It was a really big fucking thing, too. Unnecessarily big. I wouldn't be shocked if it was like based on a game show. Because, it, once again, it gives me that vibe. It was from a 1970s game show. You can't defeat me! You can't defeat... Mm. Bullshit, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done! Fine, I might as well fucking play. Where are you? Let me hit you. Don't take that out of context, please. Come on now. You know, this game could either be all over the place or just, eh, I'm hitting the ball. Hey, I hit Oh, oh god! I didn't know it could do that! Holy shit! That, 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 that doesn't count! It doesn't Thank you for giving me the ball. He was like, you know what? Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> Ah, whatever. No, I don't want to save my fucking... Huh. <sighs> anyway, I hope I remember to put the link where I downloaded this in the description. And I hope the place I got it from is actually trustworthy because I've never been to the site before. Uh, I don't want to get you guys any viruses, alright? <laughs> High score. <laughs> is it going to save it when I close out? Honestly, I don't really care, so... <laughs> yeah...